technologically illiterate people had to yeah. become literate because they were motivated by money. So you were not mo you're motivated by a few dollars, but you're not motivated by a permanent paradise. Wow. That's ridiculous. And you you don't have that hunger anymore, and then obviously things start to fall apart. I had the choice to make: Do you go to trial? and end up getting 10 years and end up being a sex offender on a crime you didn't commit. That was the first time like somebody told me something that like I couldn't see or touch and I believed it. Islam teaches you prevention and not cure. Prevention over the cure. It's new. This whole, this whole box thing that they got going on up north it's not like a single cell no more like the regular box if you stay 30 days or less you'll be on the compound if you got 30 days or less you'll stay in a regular single box but if you get any more you're going to go to a s block which is going to be you and a dude you don't know from a hole in the wall with a shower a toilet and a sink that you can see from your bed and then in the back is going to be a door where you open it up and it's going to be this little cage. So it's ba they, they'll they tell you 23 and 1 where you get an hour outside. But, bro, you go outside, your celly is still right there. So you ain't, it's, it's 20, 24 and none. You you trapped with this dude. So any issues, dudes is getting raped in there. Dudes is getting beat up. They, it's bad. So, you you know, Allah bless you to be able to be with somebody that's not, violent or you know be able to be with somebody that you can overpower but you not on that time and you good you know what i'm saying yeah alhamdulillah but can you say like being in the box helped you as far as with the yeah, arabic and everything I yo, on rikers island yeah because rikers island is single cell I, I could do box time i could be by myself i'm i'm well equipped with 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 who i am you know i'm i'm good with being dolo reading memorizing but up north it's a little different once you get to that 90 days and you with a celly that's annoying you can't read or recite quran out loud because he might be a calf the, the 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 sound of arabic is annoying to him you know what i mean so yeah but even in those situations it humbled you it it, it made you better so the box always made me a better person without a doubt okay now you now you finally start practicing you learn how to read arabic you you reading you you trying to adhere you praying your salat and everything so now you trying to go down the path of righteousness right I am. so how i know shaitan was <laughs> was gonna test you like oh nah we can't have this person get to that highest level he could possibly reach unless i know there's a lot of trials and tribulation through that moment yeah yeah without a doubt and I would say my trials and tribulations didn't come from missing salah, smoking, no. drinking, doing anything like that. It was more so from violence. Okay. I was a hands-on person. So as I said, I had an issue. I'm rumbling during Ramadan in the masjid. You know, may Allah have mercy. But for you know serious circumstances, I wasn't taking no, no crap from nobody. Um, and that was the issue that I had. My issue when it came to shaitan tricking me was anger issues. And that was my biggest trial. Having to learn how to control my nafs when it came to putting hands on people. You know, and putting myself in a position to get people to put their hands on me. Because I didn't win every every time. You know what I'm saying? But I just never backed down. So I had to figure out how... Cause I told a brother one day, I was like, "Yo, I gotta figure out how to remove the raw, you know, this, this, the lion, you know what I mean?" He like, mm, "If you remove the raw from the lion, he won't be the king of the jungle." He says, "You need to learn how to control it." And then from there, I was like, ah, "That makes sense. I gotta be gangster, but yet still humble and know when to use it." Yeah. So that was my biggest fitting. I like how you bring that up because a lot of people look at Islam. As our only self defense, really. You don't do this. Not knowing that it sometimes it's rightfully so when it has to be offensive use. Yeah, so you got to cook it. initiative. Without a doubt. Jihad, fi sabidillah. Nah. People don't understand fighting in the cause of Allah. You, even when you think about US and things like that, they would say, oh, don't mention the word jihad. Or other Muslims say, don't mention the word jihad. And you like, 
the U.S. has a military. Every country basically has a military that they use to enforce. Right. Sometimes usurp peoples out their lands, whatever they're going to be doing with it. So don't try to say, oh, Islam is, uh, is a religion of terrorists because you got people that's willing to fight for what they believe in. Because the U.S. and all the other countries do it all the time, but as far as just killing and massacring people unjustly, that's not that's not jihad. That's not what we do exactly. in Islam. Nah. So, so now, Alhamdulillah, you met the brother, giving you advice how to control your anger because obviously that has caused you to get into a lot of fights. Not a situation. Subhanallah. Obviously, we is a working process. You're not gonna really be able to fully. You just gotta keep striving. Without a doubt. When was a time where it got to a point where hmm, I could let this go? Like that's don't that don't bother me more. If it was last year, I would have knocked this dude out type of time. Yeah. So when I had that last issue during Ramadan, I made dua to Allah, right? Yeah. And I ended up getting to a box, and and the box I was in, me and my celly was cool at first, but it almost like kind of went down. I was going, I wanted to kill this dude. And it took everything in my power not to. Mama, and he happened to be from the Bronx, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Which is crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> and he was he was going to war with the Trinidadios at the time on the island. Young boy. Right. And I wanted to punish him. Right. And um, but I had promised. I had promised a lot that I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't transgress the bounds. Okay. And and it was I was tested. I mean, it came up on me. And mashallah, I was just able to, you know, leave it alone. And even at that time, I think another issue why I didn't do it is because I was going to get caught. You know, not just that I promised the law, but I felt like, man, if I do it, I'm going to also get caught and I'm going to get more box time. And I don't want to be double bunked. I just want to get out of here. I don't want to have to cook this dude. So that was another issue. You know, but at that time, my faith was building. And um, from there, I went to governor, and that's when I was tested with the biggest test. You're talking about if somebody tells you, um, you know, SMD. Oh. Yeah. That's the, that the highest level of disrespect. Don't well, yeah, know. right? <laughs> that's, what, that's what they say. Yeah. And I had it, I had it said to me, in a day room with everybody watching yeah and test. yo bro <laughs> and this was my man you know what i'm saying brooklyn everything and my boy animal at the time big dude he's benching crazy i'm talking about 125 on the dumbbells each hand benching know, this was my man Tough. He wanted to cook him. And I and I told him, nah. Hold it down. You held it down. Bro. Yo, bro. Yeah. Know. One, I didn't do nothing. Two, I told Animal not to do nothing. So that was a, a serious test for me. Yeah, yeah test from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And um, alhamdulillah, at the time, I'm reading, memorizing Quran. I think at this time, I got like a juz so far. I'm, yeah, so I'm 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 rolling. I'm not little. I don't watch. I'm not watching no TV at the time. You know what I'm saying? I'm the imam in the in the in in the in the prison. So you know, in governor. So it was just like different. But, but did you feel that relief? When oh yeah, you felt that relief of not doing that though, right? Yeah, it, it was like, bro, because I know I know the end result. I was just leaving the box. I was just tested. I was this. I was that. You know, every time that. I proved a dude not to be tough. I regretted it later. Exactly. It's funny because, you know, I played Division One basketball when I was in North Texas. Around that time was the first time, like, I started being practicing, like, learning, reading Quran, like, adhering to the Sunnah, wearing my pants above my ankles, learning what's bid that, what's not, and everything like that. I'm so one time I was on the court, it was this dude. Mind you, I'm known for smacking people who respect me right on the spot. Like, if you disrespect me or you foul me or any type of joint, I'm, 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 hitting, I'm hitting you. So people didn't even try me. But this dude, like, we were arguing. And then he said, yo, 
Shut the F up. Shut the F up. I swear to I swear to God, it was like my my what's the name was raising towards my heart, my blood. It took everything not to be and I that's, didn't do nothing. But I said Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. When I, when I, I didn't do nothing, I didn't respond. And that's the benefit, man. When when you start being able to control that enough, it the 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 outside as as far as being in prison, if you can do it in prison, the outside is light. Prison is way worse, confined. Everybody's gonna know about it. You're right there, and if you can do it while people are watching, that shows. You know, because most people act out because there's an audience. If you can do the opposite when there's an audience, you have gained mastery over your nuts. Um. Yes, it's fine a lot. 